Dear Mr. and Mrs. Seventh-day Adventist, one question. Do you really agree with what's being taught in your church's version of the Spirit of Prophecy books? Notice what it says in the 1888 Great Controversy on page 359, paragraph 1. And by the way, this is a book your church leaders changed just four years after Sister White was inspired to write the 1884 Great Controversy, volume 4. This is what your church is now promoting in the 1888 as well as other edited books. It says this, Jesus of Nazareth, the true Messiah, he said, whose hands and feet were pierced, who was brought like a lamb to the slaughter, who was a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, who after the scepter was taken from Judah and the legislative power from between his feet, came the first time, shall come the second time in the clouds of heaven and with the trump of the archangel and shall stand upon the Mount of Olives. And that dominion once consigned to Adam over the creation and forfeited by him shall be given to Jesus. He shall be king over all the earth. The groanings and lamentations of the creation shall cease, but songs of praise and thanksgiving shall be heard. When Jesus comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels, the dead believers shall rise first. This is what we Christians call the first resurrection. Then the animal kingdom shall change its nature and shall be subdued unto Jesus. Universal peace shall prevail, and the Lord again shall look down upon the earth and say, Behold, it is very good. What's being described here was first taught by the Roman Catholic Church as the 1,000 years of peace that they claim commences at the second coming of Jesus Christ, wherein they also teach he will reign on planet Earth during this time. But this is not what the Bible says at all. In fact, I share all the Bible verses that speak of what happens before, during, and after this thousand years here on my main website. And anyone with a Bible in hand can verify that what Rome is preaching and the Seventh-day Adventist Church is now echoing for them is not found anywhere in Scripture nor is it found in any of the original writings of Ellen White. And just so you know, what the Seventh-day Adventist leaders are teaching in the 1888 Great Controversy on page 359, paragraph 1, is also being taught in the 1911 Great Controversy on the exact same page, as well as in another book Ellen White never wrote, titled Desire of Ages, on page 829, paragraph 2. The Seventh-day Adventist Church, like all the other churches in bed with Rome, are teaching that when Jesus returns, he will stand on earth and rule for 1,000 years. But the Bible plainly says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. As we know by that which is penned in the Bible, and this includes pictures, videos, and even eyewitness testimonies from many obedient people of God declaring you know, that the Vatican literally uplifts and even worships Satan before the eyes of many. They used to do this in a very secretive manner over the centuries, yes, but since John Paul II's pontificate, wherein he openly held the satanic scepter in hand on camera many times that was given the title The Antichrist, by the artist who created it? Every pope after him has also carried this bent cross of the satanic church. Now, seeing how we are so close to the end now, and Satan knows the work of the Vatican has caused the majority to wonder after the beast in Rome, the Vatican started to literally and openly worship Satan not too many years ago, and we could all see this with our very own eyes after they recently created a building shaped like a serpent inside and out so as to allow the man of sin to speak from the mouth of the serpent in these last days. And since it is prophesied, Satan will appear soon, claiming to be Jesus Christ, so as to lure billions into damnation to the glory of the Vatican popes and prelates who have done this long prophesied work of preaching another Jesus for their dying God, Satan. Billions will in fact believe the Vatican Jesus is the true Jesus, when in fact the Bible is clear regarding how the true Jesus will arrive at the end of the seven last plagues. For as we just read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, Jesus never touches this unclean and very sinful world at his second coming. But Satan will appear as Jesus, claiming peace on earth as long as everyone does as he commands regarding religious laws 
he has prophesied to use to enforce his mark. And so thanks to the many false prophets that Jesus warned us about that would stand as pastors today, most Christians that trust creeds over the Bible, as Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1 predicted, they all believe that Jesus will reign on earth a thousand years because, as also prophesied by Isaiah, they prefer smooth things preached onto them. And so as students of prophecy expected, all the churches, including the Seventh-day Adventist Church, are right now preaching the dogma and twisted prophecies of the Vatican Jesus, exactly as prophecy said so as to ready billions to bow and worship to a false messiah who was actually Satan, incarnate. And for those of you that are new to this message regarding the changing of the Bibles and the changing of the spirit of prophecy books, so as to ready up people into accepting a false messiah, see this collection of very short videos when you get time. I mean, the truth is so plain, it can't be denied. Now that you see your church has changed the writings of Ellen White exactly as she predicted they would, were you also aware that she predicted her original books would resurface in the last generation so that the obedient people of God will discover the danger of trusting their apostate leaders that are working with Rome in the hopes of swaying their congregation away from the Lord before he gets here? For the remnant people are in fact prophesied to leave all the churches, including the Seventh-day Adventist Church, so as to follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. Notice what the Seventh-day Adventist leaders have kept hidden for decades from the obedient people of God that are soon to leave the SDA Church to join hands with the remnant of her seed to proclaim the final warning unto all the world. She said, our religion would be changed. The fundamental principles that have sustained the work for the last 50 years would be accounted as error. A new organization would be established, and then, she said, books of a new order would be written. And that's exactly what the Seventh-day Adventist Church has done. Now notice what she says here. She says, the testimony of Jesus, said the angel to John, is the spirit of prophecy. We all know that's Revelation 19.10. She said, it is the keeping of the commandments of God and the recognition of the revival of the spirit of prophecy by the remnant of the church or the Christians of the last generation, that stirs the ire of the dragon. As prophesied, the original books have resurfaced, and God's people have been instrumental in getting them in the hands of those he is about to bless with the latter rain. Thank you for watching. God bless.